Hello children, welcome back again for our online sessions of mathematics and we were in chapter number 12, exponents and powers. So children, we were in chapter number 12.1, uh, so today we will again continue with the same exercise. So we were in exercise 12.1, question number 5. This is the second bit uh, in question number 5. So find the value of m for which 5 raised to m divided by 5 raised to minus 3 is equal to 5 raised to negative 5. So here children, you have to solve and uh, uh, find out the value of m. Okay. So let us see what we can do here is. Now this, I know we can write it as 5 raised to m divided by 5 raised to negative 3. Yes. And then... For this same I can write it as 5 raised to m minus minus 3. Yes or no? Using which rule children? Law of exponents we have uh, learned. Rules of exponents that is a raised to m upon a raised to n is equal to a raised to m minus n. So this negative negative becomes positive that is it will be 5 raised to m plus 3 so this is what we got at the left hand side right now we have to just compare the left hand side and right hand side and find the value of m so let us proceed let us see now you can see here children this 5 raised to m divided by 5 raised to negative 3 we can write it like this right and we can use here now here you can write using a raised to m divided by a raised to n is equal to a raised to m minus n right so that you can write the rules whichever rules you have used and then it will be 5 raised to m plus 3 you can see here 5 raised to m plus 3 using that rule is equal to right hand side as it is 5 raised to 5 now using the same rule yeah now you can see here now here this is the value which we got at the left hand side now comparing this we got the we only comparing the exponents we here the write it as m plus 3 is equal to 5 now how to solve this equation you know children if we transpose the 3 it will be 5 minus 3 so m is equal to 2 so if we substitute the value of m over here uh, we will get the same value that is 5 raised to m plus 3 is nothing but 5 raised to 2 plus 3 which is nothing but 5 raised to 5 which is equal to our right hand side that means our solution is correct so i hope this uh, you people understood let us proceed to the next one now pay your attention here children 1 upon 3 whole raised to minus 1 minus 1 upon 4 bracket raised to negative 1 whole bracket again raised to negative 1 so what we can do is first let us concentrate towards whatever the inside of the bracket is there it is 1 upon 3 that is a raised to minus m the power is here negative right and we know it is equal to 1 upon a raised to m if we convert the uh, if we want the power to be positive children right so what we can do is here now a value is 1 upon 3 if we want to change the numerator and denominator it will become 3 upon 1 right so 3 upon 1 directly can I write 3 children 3 upon 1 or 3 is same so 3 raised to 1 right when I want to make my power that is exponent as a positive right again minus as it is same for the another bracket it will be 4 upon 1 raised to 1 i am making my power positive i am making my uh, exponent positive right now again 3 raised to 1 will be 3 minus 4 raised to 1 will be 4 don't forget this outer one that is raised to whole bracket raised to negative 1 so it will be equal to 3 minus 4 we know it is negative 1 and raised to minus 1 which is nothing but now if I want to make this power 
positive i'll again change it i'll bring it to the denominator so it will be 1 upon minus 1 raised to minus 1 which is equal to negative 1 right so let's see the solution yeah so you can see here children so this 1 upon 3 we have written as 3 upon 1 and the power is now positive you have to just change the numerator and denominator when you want to make the power positive okay or negative so 3 upon 1 raised to 1 minus 4 upon 1 raised to 1 which is nothing but 3 minus 4 only the thing you will write here whole raised to the bracket raised to negative 1 here also bracket raised to negative 1 directly also you can solve no problem at all if you know that this minus 1 raised to negative 1 is equal to again negative 1 you can write that also no problem so like that we get the answer negative 1 let us proceed yeah now here similar type of questions we have already seen now 5 upon 8 whole raised to bracket raised to minus 7 multiplied by 8 upon 5 bracket raised to negative 4 now how to solve this is now I know this 5 raised to negative 7 I'll bring the base whichever the uh, exponential number having the base same I'll bring it together right this here numerator and denominator as it is in the multiplication form children and we know a into b is equal to b into a right so multiplied by 8 raised to negative 4 upon 8 raised to negative 7 this i have just interchanged the denominators right so once it is like this now here you can uh, use the rule a raised to m upon a raised to n and directly solve so let us see the solution yeah you can see here now a upon b raised to m is equal to a raised to m upon b raised to m same here so now we are just using the rule a raised to m upon a raised to n is equal to a raised to m minus n you can write here the rule now this is 5 raised to minus 7 minus minus 4 in bracket multiplied by 8 raised to negative 4 minus negative 7 so after calculating now this is easy 5 raised to negative 4 negative minus minus becomes plus plus 4 which is nothing but 5 raised to negative 3 and 8 raised to negative 4 plus 7 is nothing but 8 raised to 3 now 8 raised to 3 keep it in numerator and here now 5 raised to negative 3 I'll bring this to make the exponent uh, the power positive I'll bring it into the denominator so it will become 8 raised to 3 upon 5 raised to 3 sorry yeah 8 raised to 3 upon 5 raised to 3 and whatever then solve it and write the final answer that is 8 raised to 3 is 512 and 5 raised to 3 is 125 yeah so this is the next one children over here let us see it is 25 multiplied by t raised to negative 4 whole divided by 5 raised to negative 3 multiplied by 10 multiplied by t raised to negative 8 okay so first thing what we will do is 25 i will write it as 5 square okay so 5 5 is at 25 multiplied by t raised to negative 4 as it is in numerator now coming to the denominator part 5 raised to negative 3 as it is 10 i have written as 2 multiplied by 5 and multiplied by t raised to negative 8 as it is now the easiest way what i feel is all whatever terms are there in the denominator we can bring it in numerator and then apply the laws and we know when we change the uh, uh, from num the number from numerator to denominator or denominator to numerator the exponent sign changes right so now you can see here children this negative 3 when I so 5 raised to negative 3 when I bring it into numerator it will become 5 raised to positive 3 then again 5 raised to positive 1 will become 5 raised to negative 1 and t raised to negative 8 will become t raised to positive 8 and 2 as it is in the denominator 
since in the numerator I couldn't find any exponential number with the base 2 so I have kept it in the denominator you can bring it in the numerator and at last also you can solve it not at all a problem so there are many ways children to solve this uh, you can opt any method whichever method you feel free or whichever it is easy for you so the next one is now here we will apply at this stage we will apply the rule a raised to m multiplied by a raised to n is equal to a raised to m plus n. So here I can see now, here the 5 base, 5 base and 5 base. So I can apply the rule and I can write it as 5 raised to 2 plus 3 minus 1. Similarly, here t base are same. So I can write it as t raised to negative 4 plus 8. So here we have used uh, which law children a raised to m into a raised to n is equal to a raised to m plus n. So after doing this now we can solve this further. Yes let us see. Yeah so it will be 5 raised to 4 multiplied by t raised to 4 divided by 2 which is nothing but equal to after solving we will get 625 t raised to 4 whole divided by 2 solving so whatever terms are there in denominator bring it in numerator and then use the law so it will be easy same now here children if you see here I'll take a white color yeah now whatever is there in the denominator sorry yeah here you can see it is 5 raised to negative 7 when I bring it into the numerator, it will become 5 raised to multiplied by 5 raised to positive 7. And the 6 raised to negative 5. Uh, first of all, I will write the 6 as 2 into 3. Because I can see here in the numerator, it is 3. Right? So, let us see how to solve this. Yeah. Now, you can see here, it is 3 raised to negative 5 multiplied by 5 raised to negative 5 multiplied by 2 raised to negative 5 multiplied by 5 cube upon 5 raised to negative 7 multiplied by 3 raised to negative 5 into 2 raised to negative 5. 6 raised to negative 5 we have written as 3 into 2 that is 3 into negative 5 multiplied by 2 into negative 5. So here this we have substituted 6 base 6 as 3 into 2. I will show you once again. Yeah. Now this 6 we have written as 2 into 3. So 2 raised to negative 5 and multiplied by 3 raised to negative 5. Plus this 10 also we have written as 5 raised to negative 5 multiplied by 2 raised to negative 5. And this 125 also we have written as 5 cube. So these are the things once it is done. Now once it is uh, simplified the numbers, now we can bring all the terms in the denominator to the numerator. So this 5 raised to, here you will give equal to sign children. Yeah, now 5 raised to negative 7 will be 5 raised to positive 7. Five, 3 raised to negative 5 will be 3 raised to positive 5. 2 raised to negative 5 will be 2 raised to positive 5. And then rearrange the terms. Now here you can see... In the next step, here the base are same that is 3, 3. We can use the law a raised to m multiplied by a raised to n is equal to a raised to m plus n. So, they are the exponents we will add that is minus 5 plus 5, right? Here again the base are same that is 5. So, it will be 5 raised to negative 5 plus 7 plus 3, right? Multiplied by again 2 raised to negative 5 plus 5. Now when you see children here, negative 5 plus 5 in the power that is exponent becomes 0. So I will get here as 3 raised to 0, right? Multiplied by, now 7 plus 3 is 10. 10 minus 5 is 5. So I will get here 5 raised to 5. And here again it will be 2 raised to 0. Yeah, let us see this. So this is the thing. After solving this, we get 3 raised to 0 multiplied by 5 raised to 5 multiplied by 2 raised to 0. Again, you can write here in this step that using law 
a raised to 0 is equal to 1. Anything number a raised to 0 is equal to 1. So here is 1, 1 and this 5 raised to 5 as it is. And then answer is 5 raised to 5. If you want to solve this, you can solve and write the final answer or else 5 raised to 5 will also do. So this is how you will be solving. So here we end up with the exercise 12.1 children. I hope you understood now. There will be uh, many, many methods to solve these uh, sums. So uh, you, you can do whichever method uh, you feel uh, whichever is uh, uh, easy for you. So uh, before we end up with the today's session, very important uh, uh, children that um, the, uh, according to the CBSC uh, guidelines, 30% syllabus is deducted. So from this chapter, we will be deleting exercise 12.2. Okay, so from this chapter, only 12.1 exercise will be coming. I hope this is clear and regarding other uh, chapters, uh, we will be telling you very soon. So that's it for today. Thank you so much. Keep practicing. Okay, thank you.